Hi friends, it's Abby here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these DIY all natural soothe pads. They're kind of a natural take on tux pads. And these are gonna be really uh, great for protecting, um, you know, where the babies come out when you just have a baby, when you go to the bathroom and adds a lot of comfort and a cooling effect. So these are a must have, a must have for me when I had my baby recently and it helped so much. All right, so you're going to need some aloe vera gel, some witch hazel that's alcohol free and unscented. You're also gonna need some lavender essential oil, and then you're going to need some cotton rounds, and these are extra large organic cotton rounds, and they're really nice and thick. They're a lot thicker than I expected when I ordered them online. I was just looking for, you know, something simple, and these were kind of luxurious. So here's the ones that I'm using, and you can find the resource below. Got them on Amazon. You also need a container that has a lid. I happen to have one from some ghee that I had used, uh, clarified butter that is. You hear that? That's my, that's my little baby grunting. And that jar worked perfectly for this project. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And you're going to need six ounces of the witch hazel along with two ounces of that aloe vera gel. And then you're going to do 10 to 15 drops of the, oh, it's okay, 10 to 15 drops of that um, essential oil, and then you're going to mix it all up. So I made a second batch of these for a friend, and I it worked better to add half of this liquid to the bottom of your container, then add your cotton rounds, and then finish off with the other half. And so this is going to soak through all of these and keep them nice and moist for whenever you're ready to use them. And I did store mine in the refrigerator um, just to keep it fresh because I didn't know when I was going to have the baby exactly. I had both of my babies early so I just wanted to have it ready but not ready too soon. Anyway, I don't know if that makes sense but I wanted this to stay fresh until I actually went to the hospital. All right, so you can actually push these down to see if you can put more in here as much as you can. Um, so this is great for at the hospital and then when you return home for those first few days, maybe that whole first week, every time I went to the bathroom, I used this to protect that sensitive area. And also you can place these in your pad, like that's in your underwear. You can just place like one of these uh, in the bottom of it. And it's really nice and soothing and it feels great, um, helps a lot. Okay, so I like to pair my Soothe Pads with this postpartum spray. I use the Soothe Pads, uh, like I said, when going to the restroom. And then afterwards, after you use your peri bottle to kind of clean off, you can use your postpartum spray. And this postpartum spray is pretty amazing. It's numbing, it's cooling, it really feels great. And these two items are part of my whole postpartum care kit that I put together for uh, this pregnancy. All of this is all natural, DIY. If this is something you would like to do, here's all of the things and you'll find them listed below this video, these projects. And it's so nice to have these self-care products prepared for when you get home from the hospital. Kind of had my little area and it looked it was just was really nice to have all of that together. So. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and congratulations on your little one. These will also make nice gifts if you know someone who's expecting. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.